Hello, and welcome back to our Composer series. In this episode, we'll be learning a little bit more about Conga templates and how to change the output file to a PDF. So first, we'll want to navigate back to our Conga solution we were working in originally. And I have Conga test here. And first, I'd like to scroll down to the bottom where we see solution components. And let's click on the template that we have as a part of our solution. When we click on it, it takes us to the template record. Inside the template record, you see a little bit of information about the template, including the name and the conga key. If we go to the related section, this is where we have the three files that we have as a part of our conga template. Remember here that the first, only the first template gets taken as a part of the conga template. So let's open this one. And let's look at some of the merge fields that I have here in this invoice template. You'll see I'm calling the account the account billing street, the billing city, state, and zip code, as well as I would also like the invoice number. So I'll be get, getting the account collection ID. And then I'll also have these date and due date time fields that will automatically populate on the record when using Composer. What I would also like to draw your attention to here is the table start and table end tags that are in this product section. Table start and table end tags are needed when calling information from a different object than your button is on. You'll notice at the top, our button was in the account object, and therefore I don't have to use a table start or table end when getting account merge fields. When getting merge fields from the order item product object, I need to use a table start and table end. Keeping in mind those table start and table end order items, when we navigate back to our solution, you'll see that I have a query called order items which brings in those very same merge fields we were looking at in this previous template. And now let's go ahead and launch Composer and see what we get for the output file. Here, when we press Launch Composer, you'll see the Composer UI load up here. And if you remember in our last video, we had a business requirement to merge and email the document. Today, we just want to merge and download. So if you go to the Output Options and Action, let's go to Download here, and let's press Merge and Download. We'll give Composer a few minutes here, a few seconds to merge our document. And then let's go ahead and also open our output file. Notice that our output file is a Word document. When I open the Word document, you'll see I get an invoice ID, a date, a due date for this invoice. I get the name and the street, state, city, state, and zip code of this account. Now products, if I were to, to navigate back to this record here, I could take my sample record ID, you'll see that on this record, we have orders. And on those orders, there are order products. And so you'll see 25 user training, enterprise cloud storage. That same information has now been brought over to my invoice template. You'll see all of the other products being brought in. And then at the bottom, we also have a total field for all of those prices for those products. Now, finally, let's say that we were happy with this invoice and we wanted to make it a PDF. We can do so by adding the default PDF parameter to our solution. So let's navigate back to our Conga solution page and let's press customize with parameters. name default pdf and our value will be one we scroll down to the bottom we see default pdf equals one if i were to do a quick google search of our default pdf documentation you will see that the default PDF value for one means to output format as an Adobe Acrobat PDF. So now let's go back to our solution, return a solution record. Just as we did last time, this is the button in progress. This is the current button. So we need to update the button after we make any changes. We see default PDF has been added. 
Let's launch Composer. Let's also go ahead and change it to a download. And let's download, merge and download the Word template. And in this time, we should see the output file be a PDF. Give it just a few seconds to finish the merge. And here you see our output file as a PDF. If I go ahead and open that file, it opens as a part of my Adobe Acrobat Reader. I get all of the same information just now as an uneditable PDF. That's all for this episode. Thank you for joining me for this part in our Conga Solution Series.